Hi everyone, it is Shamila here and I'm very thrilled to share with you my Lady Vagabond project for April 2022. So this time round, I decided to um, distress an old book cover and what I did was I, I actually tried to tear pages out of this book initially to use as a journal and then what happened was the entire cover came loose, the book was really old. And the thought occurred to me that I could repurpose the cover. So this is what we did. And I started off with um, painting because uh, it was a red cover. So I painted everything with uh, the white Allegro paint from Stamperia. And then I added um, some of Lady Vagabond's uh, rice papers. And I'll post everything in the description box because the video will be just too long if I if I give you all the codes as we go along. And I obviously used um, sprays. I used um, the heavy body paste. I used some crackle paste because if you look up close, you can see the crackling going on there. And then, of course, we used lots of Lady Vagabond's die cuts, some of the clear die cuts from the previous collection. Nothing is complete for me without Glamour Sparkles. It's one of my favorite things to use. So, yeah, that's where that happened. And then, of course, the new stencils. The brick stencil has to be one of my favorite. And then this uh, texture plate stencil also. Ugh, I suppose they're all my favorite, so. Let's not even go down that road. Well, you can see some of the clear die cuts in the background. And I love the finish that the clear die cuts gives because it gives you like a reflection um, on your project. And it's really cool because you can see the background underneath. So let's open this up. And what I did was I added some elastic to the inside of... Um, the spine and I created three little journals so this book cover has now been transformed into a little travel journal so I used which has to be one of my see the I go again one of my favorite papers and I have to tell you the story of this one I initially because you see there's some paint here I initially was going to use the flip side of this, which happens to be, um, uh, I think, Lady Vagabond's image, if I'm not mistaken. And when I turn the page around, and this happens to me all the time, when I turn the page around to put glue on, I looked at it because I had painted the, the inside of the book cover with the Allegro um, Earth painting. Oops, sorry. In fact, I have it right here with this one. And when I turned the page around to actually put the glue on, I looked at this paper and I thought, oh my gosh, but this matches much better than the other side. So I tend to change my plan. If you watch any of my lives, you will see the plans change all the time. So we got that there, which is from the new collection. Then, of course, this little book cover comes from the old collection. And let me see, how did I put this one in? Ah, oh, there we go. I just put it in with the, with the back cover. I've actually done it with the inside. So that is what this little book looks like. These papers that I used on the inside of the book is 130 gram um, weight paper. It's not cardstock. And I put about um, six pages in each book, which gives me a 12 page booklet. But what I love about this paper is that I found it recently. And if you're in South Africa, it is available from my store. It retains a significant amount of water quite well. Um, it makes for perfect, perfect journal inners. So if you are into making your own journals, then definitely get hold of me for that. And then, of course, this also comes from the previous collection. Oh, and then the cover of the book. I didn't tell you that part. I actually used the um let me see i may have it here so i used a mixture of the glamour gel dark wood the um, chestnut light which is the color that you see here that's the chestnut light 
and this is such a lovely lovely product to use it's water-based but look at that shimmer it's awesome and then on the inside here i actually used um i filled in all the the flowers and the leaves with the extra gloss finish mine is sadly coming to an end but i've had it forever it lasts for ages and then over i first did the centers of the flowers so over that i sprinkled some of the um, glamour pigment powder in burnt umber so i was going to say one of my favorite products but you know what i'm sounding like a broken record now because lots of things that i love so if you look at i'm not sure whether the light is picking up that shimmer of the of the uh, glamour gel but the glamour gel is awesome it comes in a variety of colors then in this little booklet let me just pull that out and i've just used some um, dressmaking elastic in the middle there you can see i use some of the the glamour dew there and at the bottom here and i covered this with a with a chippy but i use some of the dark wood there and there's some of the white on the inside so i really like that it gives a nice um finish to to your project and then this is that's the one side of the paper and then this is the other side of that same sheet of card so i used one sheet of 12 by 12 for this and i just used one of the stickers there from the sticker sheet i just trimmed it off to fit in on that little booklet and then of course the new stencil the crack stencil and uh, i can't remember which one this is but i'll post it um i used that with some ink and yeah so there's the little booklets done and they all just fit so beautifully in here and i think this might be a really nice gift to give someone or if you are going on a trip yourself you can use it or if you're making just a general journal it's really nice because you can take the little booklet out do your um, memory keeping and then just replace it back into the cover and once the book is full you could even create a little box for all these little booklets and repurpose the cover again so that is my april 2022 project i really hope you like it um, and i hope you are inspired to find an old book in your stash and repurpose your one that's it from me until next time see you in cyberspace bye now